at the end of this month, March 31st, the best heavyweight boxer from New Zealand meets the best heavyweight boxer from the United Kingdom in a bout that will take place at Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, in the United Kingdom as the undefeated Anthony Joshua faces the undefeated Joseph Parker. This bout will change the landscape of heavyweight boxing for the next years to come. Regardless of whose hand is raised at the end of this bout, the winner must face the best North American heavyweight boxer, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. In the Joshua vs. Parker fight, there's not much of a difference in age and there's not much of a difference in height. On paper, the biggest difference you see is the type of competition both fighters have faced. In the United Kingdom, UK fighters for the most part are put in bouts where they are tested very early in their careers as opposed to a lot of American and Mexican fighters that don't really get tested up until their 30th fight. Anthony Joshua Anthony Joshua is a great example of trial by fire. He debuted in 2013 and was already being put against guys like Kevin Johnson and Dylan White in 2015. Four years after making his pro debut, AJ was put in there against one of the most dominant heavyweights ever in professional boxing history, Vladimir Klitschko. Klitschko was older, but he had a damn near 10 year plus undefeated run in boxing. He was never considered a gatekeeper or the measuring stick for the division, but the man in the division, even after he lost to Tyson Fury. AJ stepped in there and knocked the man out who had been knocking out, who had made a living of stopping and brutalizing overhyped undefeated fighters. Joseph Parker, for the most part, stayed and fought low level opposition in New Zealand. He's only stepped out and fought out of New Zealand five times. This will be a sixth against Anthony Joshua. In my opinion, Joseph Parker's biggest win was against undefeated heavyweight who was promoted by top rank in the United States, Mexican American Andy Reyes Jr. He won a unanimous decision by scoring 115 113 twice on the cards and being tied on the third card. In my opinion, this was home style home cooking. In my opinion, I believe Andy Reese won that fight by two rounds and should be the one in this heavyweight tournament and not Joseph Parker. My prediction for this bout is Anthony Joshua having faced more credible opponents. Top guys, what he's learned from those fights will be too much for Joseph Parker who I believe will be out of his element facing someone as athletic as Anthony Joshua. Do you see the soft touches that have been put in front of Joseph Parker will not help him evolve as a boxer. I believe Anthony Joshua will fight Joseph Parker like Klitschko fought him from a distance and just rain those overhand rights all night long until Parker's corner has seen enough. I predict a 10th round stoppage victory for the United Kingdom's Anthony Joshua and hopefully sooner than later he takes that bout, a title unification bout, against the United States' Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder.